Welcome to my medical review of speed shock. Speed shock is a systemic reaction that occurs when a foreign substance, usually a medication, is rapidly introduced into the circulation. Rapid injection permits the concentration of the medication in the plasma to reach toxic levels. Affecting organs that are high in blood supply, such as heart and the brain. These vital organs will malfunction from the toxic dose, which may lead to syncope, shock, or cardiac arrest. Some causes of uh, shock are IV medication or solution are, that are administered at a too rapid rate, such as IV push medications that are pushed too quickly. Another reason can be the flow clamp control uh, control clamp is inadvertently left completely open. For example, the primary uh, medication is intended to be infused uh, at appropriate but fast rate, but the secondary medication clamp is open, leading to rapid infusion of the medication. Also, if the medication was intended to be infused by gravity and the clamp wasn't set at the correct rate and was completely open. Speed shock can occur in such circumstances too. Or the pump was programmed incorrectly. Medication was set at a thousand milliliters an hour while intended to be infused only at a hundred. So some of the signs and symptoms of shock could be the following. Patient can complain of pounding headache that can occur from dilation of the cerebral uh, arteries, cerebral blood vessels. Also the patient will complain of dizziness. Well, that is due to hypotension because the blood vessels or arteries are dilated around the whole body, leading to a complete system effect, entire system effect. Also flushing of the facial and uh, also flushing of the skin on the face and the neck from dilation of facial arteries. A regular pulse will be noted and um, the the patient can complain of tightness in the chest. Also, you will uh, assess from vital signs the hypotension, which can lead to complete shock. So, some of the things that can be done to prevent um, to prevent speed shock, uh, medical professionals should administer IV push medications over appropriate time frame. Usually the label on the medication syringe will indicate the time or will specify in the medication administration record. Usually administration uh, time is about three to five minutes. If uh, not labeled, the nurse should contact uh, the pharmacist. So how to treat if the speed shock did occur? So the first thing is to stop the infusing medication. Also, second would be to call rapid response team or the code, you follow the code system. Also contact the physician assistant and find what would be the antidote and uh, the resuscitation solution. Then, of course, administer the antidote or resuscitation solution um, as ordered. And if patient goes into cardiac arrest, uh, cardiac arrest initiate the CPR. All right, thank you for watching and uh, please like the video. I wish you great success.